Hello friends. In this video, we will learn how to get the value of a cell from Panda's data frame. So to demonstrate this, I have a small example. So I have the California housing data set and I will try to explain the concept of getting the value from a cell using this data set. So first I will import the Panda's library and read the CSV file and load it in my load it as a data frame. So let us print the first five rows of this data frame. So as you see, I have the following columns in my frame. I have longitude, latitude, housing, median age, total rooms, total bedrooms, population, households, median income, and median house value. Now to demonstrate in this example, I will show you how you can get the how you can get the first row value or the second row, but since Python indexing starts from zero. It is uh, indicated as one. So I will show you how you can get the second row value and the latitude column. So this value, thirty-four point twenty-six. So one approach that is the easiest approach is using the iLock command. So we have this iLock uh, functionality. So what you can do is you can do data, but i is nothing but index location. So what it does is it tries to get the index location. So I lock, and since I want the first row, or second row, or indexing indexing starts from zero, it's uh, it's indicated as one, and then I will indicate the column I want to get the value from. So in this case, I want the column latitude, latitude. So. If I do this, you can see I get the value thirty four point twenty six. If I had changed this to let's say four, I would get this value. This is the fifth row or fourth by indexing, and I can uh, I can just use the row number and the column number. So this is one approach to get a value from a cell. Another approach is using the i at functionality so to do this uh, what what this does is first we we choose the row and now longitude is the zeroth column so this is the zeroth column latitude is the first second third fourth fifth and so on so in our case latitude is the first column so what i will do is i will do data dot i at 1 comma 1 so what it does is it gets the value from the first row and the first column. That is again 34.26. We can do the same for let's say first row and the fifth column. So the first row and the fifth column uh, sorry I had to put I at so this is the fifth one. This is zero, one, two, three, four, five. This population and the first. So I get this value eight zero nine point zero. Another approach is using the dot lock functionality. So to this, what we can do is we can do data dot loc, then the row number, and again the column name, latitude. So I had to remove this. But the advantage of this approach is instead of so this indexing could have also been string, a string value, and it could have you could have easily put a string value out here and you could have get the value. So in our case, since the indexing indexing is uh, numeric as in order, that is from zero to uh, the, the n, what we can do is we can do LOC. The number, the row number, and the column name. This is an, another approach to get a value from a cell. And the very last approach is using the at at functionality. So what we can do is we can do dot at. We can indicate the row, so the first row, and again the column. So we can again try this with another row. We can do data. But at let us say you want the fourth row, 
and housing DGNH. So in this case, we would get the fourth row and housing DGNH, it would be 19 and we get 19 as an output. So this was all about getting values from a cell in pandas. So we saw the four methods to get a value. We saw the ILOC functionality, the IAT functionality, the lock functionality and the at functionality. So depending on your use case, you can use any of these four methods. I hope you like this video. Thank you.